To merge cells in Google Sheets, click and drag to highlight the cells that you'd like to merge. Then go up to the toolbar and find the icon with the two arrows pointing towards each other. And you can click on it and it will merge the cells for you. Hi everyone, this is Anson from AnsonAlex.com and I just showed you the easiest way to merge cells in Google Sheets. But stay tuned and we'll dive a little bit deeper and talk about how cell merging works here in Sheets. So one thing I want to mention is if we undo that merge that I just did, you'll notice that when I have these three cells highlighted, we can see the line next to this first cell right here, which means that this is not yet merged. But if I click out of it here in Google Sheets, you'll notice that it looks like it's merged. So in some scenarios, you might not actually have to merge your cells because if it's just for visual purposes, Google Sheets already handles that for you. So let's go ahead and highlight these three cells again, and let's merge them, and you'll notice how this highlighting changes. If I go and click the Merge button, you'll notice that now with those three cells selected, the highlight is around all three of them, which tells me that they are actually merged here in Google Sheets. I also want to mention if you're merging cells that all have data in them, it's only going to keep the data from the top leftmost cell. So if I highlight these three cells and go and click the Merge button, You'll notice that Google tells me that merging these cells will only preserve the top leftmost value. And so I just have to accept that. Of course, I could maybe copy and paste this information into other cells so that I could easily paste them in later on. But we don't have that much information here, so I'm OK with just retyping some of it. So when I click OK to merge, you'll notice that it did keep that text in the top left cell, but the other ones are lost. So I would have to go in here and either retype it or I guess right now I could go up here and copy that and paste it down there into that cell. Uh, so you can see that now uh, both of these rows have some merged cells at the beginning. I also want to mention that you can merge cells from the Format menu as well. So if you highlight the cells you'd like to merge and go to Format, you can go to Merge Cells. And you have the same options that you have up here in the toolbar. If you select the drop down, you'll notice that you have the Merge All, Merge Vertically, Merge Horizontally. And this is where you can also unmerge cells as well. I haven't had to specifically choose merge vertically or horizontally because I've only been selecting um, either cells in a horizontal fashion or you know, if I did something like this, I could select these cells and then I could go click merge and I don't have to choose vertically because it knows that I'm going to merge them vertically because I only have these cells selected in a vertical manner. Um, so I'm going to go ahead, it says it's only going to preserve the top left most, okay. And we've now merged these cells as well. If you were to select a matrix of cells, so more than one column and more than one row, then we would have the option up here where what do we want to do? Do we want to merge this vertically or horizontally? If we click on merge all, it just merges all of them into a, a big box. So this is a good way to add some headings as well. So you could create a big box like this, and then you could center your text. We could align it vertically to the center as well. And we could go in and change, you know, font and we could give it some some size here and so we've kind of created a, a custom little heading by merging the cells and then playing with some of the fonts so that's how you can merge cells here in google sheets just highlight the cells that you'd like to merge click on the merge button and let google sheets do the rest of the work i hope you found this video helpful if you did i would really appreciate a thumbs up here on youtube and if you want to see more technology tips and tutorials don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel that's all i have for you for now this is anson from ansonalex.com